What is secondary coverage and how to go about optimizing it in your network? Use Ekahau Optimizer. It turns the Wi-Fi data you've just collected in your sitebook into actionable insight, laying everything out into easy step-by-step -step guides for optimizing your network. Secondary coverage is just one of many configurations Optimizer analyzes. Secondary coverage is all about reliable roaming, coverage redundancy, and assisting with higher capacity needs. Let's start with roaming. Roaming happens when your device jumps between access points. Imagine walking around the office whilst being on a voice call or carting hospital devices from room to room. To enjoy smooth roaming, you need decent primary and secondary signal strength. It's measured in dBm. Anything higher than around next 67 is considered a great coverage. Ideally, you want to have both primary and secondary signal strength hitting that NEC67 dBm mark. So that NEC67 dBm secondary coverage means that every time you get to the edge of your existing coverage cell, you always have a great alternative to roam to. Secondary coverage is also critical for coverage redundancy, meaning if one AP were ever to fail, you will still have coverage from that secondary access point. We talk all the time about how Wi-Fi is business critical. And this is exactly what we mean. If an AP goes down, work does not have to go down with it. Lastly, secondary coverage can help you with your capacity needs. Primary plus secondary coverage will most likely mean that your connected devices will now be spread between two APs instead of just one. And that means more people in the same area, so your network can keep up with all these added devices and new types of applications. Now, how do you fix secondary coverage, guys? It's a simple one-two combo. Wear your sidekick and walk around your site as if you were walking the dog, and then let Ekeho Optimizer crunch through the data and spit out the exact steps to fix it. Often fixing secondary coverage is just ensuring that your APs are up and broadcasting and that your transmitting power levels are correct. Try increasing your transmitting power levels to between 14 to 17 dBm, if currently set in the lower, and see how it works. There you have it, folks. Secondary coverage is super important to improve roaming, redundancy, and capacity.